gonna find some bass. my YouTube friends today we are fishing Lake Harding uh, it's a sunny sunny day we have uh, maximum temperature is gonna be 87 I believe today so right now it's about 68 degrees the water temperature right now is between 58 and 62 uh, we're gonna be fishing some grass and we're gonna be fishing some uh, some rock and some uh, ducks to see if we can find some fish uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell stay with us we're going to show you some fish <laughs> you see that so many penalties Tomino penalty. Look, short fat. Yeah, short fat. Good fish. All right. <laughs> Easy two pounds. What was that with? Crankbait? Crankbait. Crankbait, shot Stay color. Better. Shot color. Sorry about that one. Uh, we had to put the camera down. Because we needed the net for this one. I had it with only one hook and I didn't want to lose it so there you go. That's a nice one. Huh? That's a nice fatty right there. Look at that. my friends I'm recording this back in the house uh, uh, yesterday I left my uh, camera on in one of those uh, excitements while catching a bass and uh, my battery died and my spare battery for some reason it didn't charge so I didn't have uh, no other way to get to the end of our fishing day yesterday but uh, Right here, I'm going to give you a rundown of what happened and how we caught the fish. And I'm going to show you the different lures that we use in order to catch our fish. Uh, as you know, we were in uh, Lake Harding yesterday. And uh, uh, early in the morning, it was a little cloudy. But then as the day progressed, uh, uh, the sun came out and it was nice. We had, a, we had some wind. Uh, we had like uh, 10 mile hour wind so uh, every time we try to hit any uh, offshore points or humps uh, we had to fight the wind uh, quite a bit so but other than that uh, I think we did uh, pretty yeah. decent or morning done the morning done uh, and I was catching fish I used uh, I used the drop shot also on the humps uh, offshore and I used it also on the ledges uh, that we were trying to fish we saw some fish on some ledges and we tried to catch some fish on the ledges now uh, also caught some fish on the jig head and this jig right here is a green pumpkin jig head from elk river elk river jigs and i have a gambler lures uh big craw as a trailer and all we did was cast it out there uh, to the secondary points that have some rock and we we did both we dragged it in the bottom a little bit and every time we ran into a rock we just hop it and most of the time they hit it when after you hop it and it went over the rock that's when they were hitting it also I, I was casting 
on the secondary points I was casting a crankbait and this time I was using a, a Rapala DT6 this color is the penguin color I believe and uh, and they were hitting it hard as a matter of fact uh, the fish that you saw in the video that uh, we we had to use the net to catch it uh, I caught that fish on that lure right there on that crankbait right there and he only had one one hook on his on his lip so I had to I had to get the net to bring it in the boat because I, I was afraid I was gonna lose it uh, so that's why you didn't see the whole video you didn't see when I was bringing it back uh, we had to use the net to catch it also we we were hitting the the pockets on the back of the coves and in the pockets on the back of the coves I was casting a striking 1.5 square bill and this one right here this is the geyser shad color and they were hitting it they were hitting this lure very hard uh, so those were basically the four lures that we used the whole day because they those were the lures that were hitting so moving lures they were hitting the crankbaits the square bill and the DT6 and the slow lures that were hitting the jig and they were hitting also the drop shot so those were the ones that we were using yesterday we caught basically all all our fish but one on these four lures and uh, it was a pretty good day in the water so that's what happened yesterday and uh, I hope uh, that you guys liked the video I'm sorry it's a short video but it's, it's everything we did and hopefully I was able to help you uh, identify which lures they're hitting and which areas you gotta hit uh, during this time in order to catch some fish and have a good time in the water so make sure you don't forget to subscribe down there. Make sure you hit that bell. And uh, also leave me some comments. You know, anything that you want to talk about, anything that uh, is working for you while you go out there and spring fishing and some of these lakes that uh, we fish over here. West Point, uh, Lake Harding, Lake Eufaula, um, uh, Lake Oliver. Any of those lakes that we usually uh, we go out there and, and are, are close to us and we go out there and fish almost every day or every week, as, as, as I should say. So thank you for watching. Have a good time. Hey, uh, on these days, let me leave you with this, man. On these days, be careful out there. You know all this thing that is going on around with the coronavirus. Uh, we got to do, we got to play it safe. So I leave you with a safety briefing over here. Make sure that you... Uh, get some hand sanitizer make sure that you get some Lysol spray your stuff uh, if you happen to run into some somebody's you know it's nothing personal you, you make sure you spray your stuff and you don't know who you who they've been talking to they don't know who you've been talking to uh, so it's very important that we keep uh, everything safe and uh, we don't we don't we stop the spread of this disease so have a good time talk to you guys later tight lines